living like I was homeless for even though it was only 36 hours changed my perspective on pretty much everything in the world. <laughs> Hello and welcome to another edition of the Bamford & Co. Podcast. My name is Gary and I am here with my main man, Greg Bamford, as we are going to talk about something we both care about very, very much, and that's making the world a better place. And he's here today to talk about another way for us to do that. How you doing, brother? I'm doing great. So Thanks, thanks for having me, Gary. Hey, always a pleasure. And thank you again. I, I've been here producing, but uh, all the kind words you're sharing about this, this studio and the family we have here and sort of what we're doing, I really, really appreciate it. And it sort of plays into what we're going to talk about today and uh, being a good person and helping others and making a difference. And one small step is a way we can all sort of support that movement. It, it can. I think that the biggest, there's a couple of things. One is that we don't, we don't understand where other people are coming from. Yeah. In a lot of times in life, right? I, oh, I find yeah. that a lot of times we pla pay, we place judgment on people with understanding what their background is and so mm -hmm. forth. And I think that uh, five minutes of kindness a day uh, to somebody else could probably change the world. Absolutely. See, and this is why I appreciate you so much and what not just what you guys are doing with your, your business and your show, but how you've gone out and actually have done stuff lots of people talk but you're out there doing things and you're out there trying to help and to make a difference and maybe explain to us a little bit about one small step and what it's all about right so i mean and again we're learning right yeah. so this has been a, a long journey that i've been on and um it started with volunteering at the bridge on 20th street when i think i was just talking to linda from the bridge a couple days ago and i think that started i don't know we we're trying to figure out is that 2007 2008 but um, one small step was uh, uh, basically an idea that came out of participating in the homeless challenge. And I have to say that living like I was homeless for even though it was only 36 hours changed my perspective on pretty much everything in the world <laughs> and um, how we interact with people because we place judgment without understanding their history and where they come from and so forth. And I think that we all place judgment on each other and we don't exactly know exactly what happened to that person that day. It, their mom could be dying of cancer. They could have, you know what I mean? Something bad could have happened. So with one small step, basically the idea came from the homeless challenge. And so when, when we looked at this, we were like, there's all this amazing work that these charities do within our community for a lot of people. How can we then showcase them in today? Because previously to one small step being um, created, you couldn't find a nonprofit unless you knew the name of the nonprofit yeah. and and how to search it. So basically the idea was that we created a platform like a website where people could go on there and be able to find these nonprofits. So we interviewed 12 of these nonprofits and figured out what they needed to support because we didn't know. Like so you go right to where uh, communication, communication. Man. communication. So, you, so you go right to them and say, what do you need? And they're like, we need awareness. We need money and we need volunteers and another thing that physical items that uh, they're of need of so if you go to one small step and you want to donate clothes you just type in the what you want to donate and it'll then search which nonprofits are taking that clothes item and then you can do go donate it and so forth so i thought within real estate when i was first thinking about this i just thought about the clothes side i didn't understand like the awareness side i didn't understand all the rest of it all that the they're in need yeah. of but that kind of was the overall thought process and then from there it's just a lot of people have got on board and it just keeps on growing and we have now 66 charities on oh, one geez. small step so it's it's been pretty cool to be part of um man and now I want to go back a little bit to you talking about being homeless for 36 hours. I've talked to a couple other people that have been a part of that whole movement, like Kurt Dahl, for instance, and like other. These yeah, really I've had good a lot people. of friends that have done it. Yeah. And, yeah. and every single one of them said the same thing that if everyone on earth could do something like this, uh, the world would be a better place. Because, like you say, it's all about understanding. And not just going by on your judgments. And if we can eliminate stuff like that, it sort of opens the door. It gets rid of all the, the, right. the muddy stuff and it opens that door to how you can get in and actually help. And like, maybe talk a little bit about that For experience. Sure. So um, as I'm meeting people, um, I, I found that there's more community within the homeless sector and homeless people than there is in the rest of our community. Absolutely. Um, when I sell houses, everybody wants bigger fences, bigger yards. 
uh, privacy within within the homeless sector. A lot of these people are giving each other their last food or their last money so that they can support each other and they really look out for each other. Um, panhandling was pretty hard when when I did that and the way I was treated by other people. Like that's got to just that's got to open your mind right up, right? Like just it to, was it was it was crazy. And then yeah. it, and then and then you're thinking like what's this person's story? That's like, like one. what, what took them in life to be able to like get to where this is where they're at. Right. right. And it was, uh, it was humbling because like, I mean, no kid and it doesn't matter what their background is when, when they get asked what they want to do in school, put up their hand and say, I want to be homeless. Yeah. Right. Like it's not that this is their choice. Another thing I found very interesting was that we place judgment on people because we we call them drug addicts and we call them alcoholics and we call them all this stuff and we look at it as a negative thing within our society it's socially acceptable to drink and if you don't drink then you're judged which i find interesting because i quit for two and a half years and people kept on coming up to me and being like why are you not drinking are you an alcoholic and i was like how's the drunkest person always asking me why I'm not drinking. <laughs> but, but if a homeless person doesn't, like if they're drinking, they're not allowed. So that makes, it doesn't make sense. We are sitting at, uh, in, I, I guess, what would it be? Uh, Nutrient Parker, yep. me, me in there. Yep. And uh, I remember I'm with a couple of executives and the first mm -hmm. thing that they said when we sat down is like, man, I could really drink a bottle of scotch right now. Jeez. And I was thinking... It's interesting, right? Like, yeah, man. And, and, we, and, and we as people go home because we've had a tough day at the office. And when we have a couple of drinks and we don't think anything of it, right? And so, I don't know. I, I look at it from a different perspective, I guess, now, right? Seeing it from where other people are coming from. And right. it's hard not to see it because it's, it's all this judgment that we place. Yeah. And that's the biggest idea behind that whole movement, right? Is to put you in another person's shoes so you can understand why and how and like when and just to learn the story. It's the first time in a lot of our lives that we get stripped of who we are and who there we've built is. up as a person yeah. and we become a nobody. Everyone's equal out there. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, and not that I mean like as, it, as it, people are nobodies, but I'm just saying that yeah. we're not known, we're not like, we're not our brand. We all have our own personal brand because we are friends. We have like yeah. the people that we went to school with and they know us and the rest of it. Yeah. Some of us get liked, some of us don't get liked. I mean, it's yeah, like it's, pick, or, pick or choose, right? But um, in that case scenario, I think that uh, you go there and you're now open to vulnerability That's scary, and man. you sit there and you try to figure out like okay like what is going to happen today and you're and, and the way that it sets up is that you're given all these different challenges to be able to participate in that someone living like they're homeless would go and do and I mean I stayed at a, a shelter one evening and I, I mean I have to admit that was probably the most uneasy sleep I've ever had in my life I was gonna did you and, sleep and at then, all and then I was thinking like how would somebody then try to get ready to go get a job interview and so forth after this? And, and we, and we place track? all this judgment. And yeah. before doing this, I, I've done, an, like, I've worked in the community a lot volunteering my time. And I always, and I have to admit this, is that I wondered why a homeless person was homeless and why they didn't get a job. That sounds very naive and the rest of it, but I, I did a not A lot know. of people think that way. And, and then I learned it's mental health, addictions. Usually most people are coming from trauma. I think there's numbers of like 65% of Jeez. people that are in the foster care system, a lot of people end up homeless. Like, I don't know how many times my parents have helped me in my life. And I, I mean, probably you as well. Dude, still to this day, all the time, yeah. <laughs> all the time. This whole place was built with help from my parents. Man. Right. But like yeah. it, it is. And, and the it. reason that we have all this support and able to do it. So if we didn't have this support, then what happens? Like they, they don't have anybody. And so, um, I guess one small step was a way of being able to be like, okay, how do we connect the people that have with the people that, that, uh, the charities that are in need, and then to support the people that need a helping hand up. Yeah, man. See, and we say it all the time, karma. Like I end every live show, Monday to Friday on YouTube, 4 to 5 p.m. Your show it's called. And I end every show by reminding people that karma is very, very real. And if you start doing good things, good things will start happening to you, especially in a world where everything's so crazy right now. To, to always hammer that home, it's nice to have examples. And this is a great example 
of a way to get your karma by supporting uh, these incredible organizations that are trying to change for the good. Well, and there's a lot of opportunities out there, right? Like, I mean, it's either you could drop off gently used uh, clothing and, and so forth, but or you could go pick up diapers or you could donate something to the food bank or you could volunteer within uh, different organizations. The Friendship Inn always needs people to, to volunteer, right? So there's m so many different possibilities. And, uh, and I think it's like, it becomes overwhelming because there is so much that we need to it do is. within our community. But I, I believe it's all of our parts to play a little piece of that, right? And yeah. so the thing is like, if we all work together, we can then make it. So the old way of like, when we grew up, like your neighbors took care of the neighbors, right? Like yeah. a small town mentality, right? We've lost that within society, I think oh, yeah. a lot. So, yeah. so it's, um, and it's interesting because I mean, in my world, I sell houses, which is now like even, I, yeah. I kind of feel bad even some days because I'm like, I enjoy it. I like helping people find the journey of finding the right property and, and, and solving something for them that sometimes is very stressful. But at the same time, I look at on the other side and I was like, man, there are so many homeless people and there, and there's only becoming more. Yeah. And I, I, this isn't an issue just within Saskatoon. This is an issue within, um, I think the world, right? I think just with the way that society is and so forth. And, um, if I could, probably think about ways because I, I look at it from like a social side but I look at it also from a corporate side because I look at the investment into something right like I, I kind of see a lot of different angles that maybe some people might look at it just because I've 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 been lucky enough that I've, I've had a lot of people that trust me with their points of view and I have a lot of First Nations friends I have a lot of people that are in the working in this in the social profit side of it and then i also have then a lot of my business friends and so everybody gives me different perspectives and i'm able to be like oh i think maybe we can maybe solve it this way right you but can, you can form your own sort of ideas because you're getting all the different sides all, all these difference right yeah. and, and i and i am um, i i truthfully believe that preventative care spending money ahead of time and and meeting people where they're at will cost us less money than it was than just putting the band-aid on which i think that we do now and it's not about money but i mean this is the way our society works we're a capitalist world you have to like you might not want it to work this way but it does so the thing is like how do we change it within the society that we're in to make the differences that we can to be able to all work together to move in the right direction man it's crazy stuff so uh, to put a little bow tie on all of this, how do people get out and support One Small Step? What yeah, we I think go to the website, onesmallstep.com. We've got lots of, we're Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. Go on there, share, us, share our posts, uh, and then go there and just learn more about these charities. I mean, we built it out so that every single charity on there has, and we're updating all the I guess the charities pages right now, but go on there, check out what the organization does, their programs and so forth. Most people don't even understand what a lot of these pro what do these charities yeah. do and what programs they actually offer. They usually offer 10 times more than we actually think they do. So yeah. go learn about them because everybody's got a passion that, I mean, dogs, so, so, right? Some people yeah. love animals and that, and Sucker that's their dogs, thing. And yeah. I've got friends that that's their number one thing. Yeah. Mine is like, I think every kid deserves an opportunity. So there's a lot of like opportunities for like, for, for organizations that you can support kids in getting involved with sports and so forth, right? So uh, go on to onesmallstep.com, learn more about them, volunteer, donate, uh, and donate good things. Don't donate things that are junk. Like I think a lot of these nonprofits have to sort through a lot of stuff because we think that if it's not good for us, but we'll give it to somebody else. Someone I mean, it, th they're people just like us. Yeah. Very well said, man. Leave it to you to bring out the emotions here today. <laughs> Very well done. Again, Greg Bamford, you know him from the Bamford & Co. podcast, which you are enjoying right now, as well as from uh, Realtoring and all the other cool stuff that he does, including the very, very, very important ways to get that karma up with one small step. Thank you so much, brother. I always appreciate the conversations and I look very forward to doing many, many more with you. It, I do really look forward to this and thank you for the opportunity. And uh, one thing that uh, Gary and I have talked about from the very beginning was, was creating a one small step 
podcast yes. to be able to highlight the charities and, and the nonprofits mm-hmm. in our community to, to be able to give them a light, right, within, yes. within this world. Yeah, and I'm looking very forward to doing that as well, brother. Cheers, buddy. Thank, Thank you. you. Right there.